Is it is it hard is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money or can you still pull it off? See, when I had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't got no sauce, then you, you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another video. We're just chilling here in the shop as always, and I'm going ahead and replacing the valve seals on this GSR hood. It's a very rare scene seeing me work on some B-series stuff. Unless it's a customer's. Well, almost everything we work on is customer's. But we do not work on a lot of B-series here. So I figured I would make a video of it while I have the chance to. So we're just going to go ahead and replace the uh, valve seals you see here. I already went ahead and got the spring. Well, I actually didn't have to take the springs out because this head literally came like that. What you doing, man? I need, I need to run. That's mine. What do you mean? That's for my motor. <laughs> No, it is. It's for that one. Did you order one too? No, no, no. 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 Well, I'll, uh, build, I'll build something soon. <laughs> Not right now. We gotta, we gotta get the shop going. For right. It. We gotta turn some hours. Yeah, and clean up the shop too. Right. We got a lot going on. As you see, the floors on this side look good. This weekend, we're gonna be doing the floors over uh, on the next side over here. Uh, they got this Corvette started up. Um, it was uh, something wrong with the distributor, right? Yeah, they put the distributor in the wrong way. They didn't center it right on the, on the pen when it goes in on the Chevys. Because that one had the distributors in the front. Uh, we had to do the valve adjustment, button everything back up, and then... Uh, Send it. It started up pretty good. It just yeah. felt, it just sounded like it needed a valve yeah. adjustment. Yeah. But yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. I showed you guys last video. This is the Grand Sport. I'm ready to get this thing out of the shop. We got a good old uh, 350Z in here. Getting an oil pressure sensor uh, replaced. So yeah, he's just gonna do the valve uh, adjustment on this sucker. You worked with a lot of these back in the day, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, your old shop? Yeah. They're not too bad to work on. It just, it just, the way that system is, the way they put the distributor in front of the timing uh, chain, and then the water pump comes on top. So you gotta remove the water pump, and then uh, the distributor's right there in the front. And it's, it's, a, it's a very weird design they made it, but it works pretty good. Heck yeah, and the uh, the injectors on this guy. So you can see this head from the last video. It's already on. Uh, the injectors were not firing literally at all. Uh, we also found that the oil pump, when we had the head on, we were turning it over, and we noticed that no oil was coming up to the top of the head. We were like, "What the heck?" I had a good amount of assembly lube in there, so it wasn't that bad. Just because we were trying to turn it over. Um, we went ahead and dropped the oil pan and the oil receiver. The bolts for it were just loose, so when it sucks in, doesn't really can't suck in oil. When it can, it's going to just spit through the sides of it and then just drop back down in the oil pan. It wasn't getting oil all the way to the top. So we went down there, we put on a new gasket and sealed it up so that way it can pull that oil all the way to the top of the head. Then we verified, we noticed that it was uh, it was all coming up there. So it was definitely turning faster too. It's funny. It just, has more lubrication um, so uh, after we did that we were trying to start it start it. it would not start we definitely had fuel pressure so we checked our injectors they were not firing at all so literally nothing we had perfect uh, pressure we just they weren't opening injectors are not opening so I'm gonna try to put them in my injector cleaning machine try to clean them just so we can get the car running if not I'm pretty sure I have a pair of stock injectors that we can throw in here uh, that'll match the ones the customer has and this thing will be ready to go but yeah we're just gonna get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and replace those seals. They're gonna finish up, uh, Gio's gonna finish up with the Corvette. And I am uh, gonna clean these injectors and then we'll see this thing start. So let's get to it. Yeah, so I'm working on a Honda now. Yeah, finally working on a Honda. Sweet. Hell yeah. Those injectors were super, super dirty. So we cleaned them up, got them back in. It's running a good bit better there now. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get back on to this head. I uh, got these finished so far. Now I just gotta go in here and then do the rest of them. And then on to uh, pressing the springs in. So wait, this side is finished. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, valve springs in. Uh, for this one, I got a tool that I bought, didn't have to make a tool. Um, I had one of these a long time ago, but I lost it, so I just went ahead and bought a new one. Um, what it does is it bolts literally right here, put a screw here, bolt here, 
And then what you can do is you can press down with a screw, like so. And then it also has this little like cap thing to go around it. So that way you can put the uh, valve keys in right through the side. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down. I'm going to go ahead and set this up and I'm going to show you guys how it works. Okay, now you can see it's compressed. We got the valve stem sticking out. Now just some, what I'm going to do is drop those keyways on both sides and I'm just going to pull the pressure back and it'll lock in place. What is that? As you can see, these are the uh, Type R retainers and springs. So they're the dual valve springs and they come with them cool retainers. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this side and then after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, valves on the uh, intake side. So fun, fun, fun. Just going to get to it. So literally here, the same thing you do here, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Pop the valve out, pull those off, put another one on and then send it. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other side real quick, but we'll go ahead and call the video here. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money or can you still pull it off? See, when I ain't had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. So if you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce.